Oh, did you know that tomorrow is the World Cup tomorrow? Uh, 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 did I just had a heart attack? Uh, I just had a hiccup. Now, where was I? So, I'm getting ready to review a post-Halloween movie titled The Duology, titled Scary Godmother, Halloween Spooktacular, Spooktacular, and Scary Godmother 2, The Revenge of Jimmy. The plot is simple. Hannah, while she was trick treating with her cousin Jimmy and his friends, encounters the tension witch and her main friends at a Halloween party within the fright side. As the plot says that according to Word of God, God men Word of God mentions that on Halloween night, Hannah Mary, alongside her cousin Jimmy and his friends, Katie, who's dressed as a black cat. Wait a minute! A black cat. A cat handle... Wait, why was Katie a black cat? All I'm getting is that Katie became a black cat, and what I'm getting is that I got this from Bleach. How interesting. Now, Dao is in a Candy Peace costume. Candy Peace? Oh, come on. What the heck is a ca Candy Peace? I don't get it with this costume. Candy Pieces and costumes don't mix together. That doesn't make sense. And Bud, who is a baseball player, who drives a powerful sub that can shoot atomic lasers? Wait a minute, a sub that shoots lasers. Hmm, what does this remind me of? As I know I got really confused with some other vehicle that I saw. Oh, it's the vehicle from Twisted Metal. There was a sub called Outlaw. And that was from 10 years ago, 2012. And the one from 2001's Twisted Metal Black. They look kind of identical, but... Enough of the vehicle combat business. So an annoyed Jimmy is forced to go with Hannah, convinces everyone to do this prank to scare her house. But when they got near to that abandoned house in the graveyard, he, Jimmy then explains a myth about everyone in the house not feeding candy to monsters, surrounding the exterior and being killed as a result of roadkill. Since candy has always been the basement to prevent the monsters from killing everyone in the world. Wow. Sounds like a frightening idea. Then we have the friendly witch with a ghost cat. And then we had a broomstick on the fright side. Then we had Mr. Scully pent up on the skeleton. And Harry the werewolf? Hang on a minute. Harry the freaking werewolf is basically Mr. Wolf from... Freaking bad guys? Oh, I get it. Why do I see some similarities between Harry the Werewolf and freaking Mr. Wolf from freaking bad guys? I don't get the similarities between this character and the one from 2022's The Bad Guys. They look like they're the same person. How twisted it is. <laughs> I don't get it with the fuzzy... Monster who appeared in Bad Guys. Oh, speaking of that, Bugaboo, who's a weird-looking monster who came from Monsters, Inc. And a vampire family of parents, Max, Ruby, and Orson. Orson? What a funny name for a character. Now, they're having another Halloween party. Described as Patty Bar's spooky fantasy fest in the whole realm. Blah, blah, blah. Boring. And everyone enjoys it, especially for Orson, Hannah, and Harry. They've been using most of the food for a lot. However, Jimmy, Katie, Bird, and Darrow have waited for hours to, to let Hannah get out of here unless they played rock, paper, and scissors. Near the climax, the myth Jimmy told her was actually real all along, which was just Bugaboo, because the Bugaboo was angry at Jimmy, yada yada boring. Hannah leaves the Godmother behind and gives her a scared key to go back to the right side anytime. Which means in the sequel, as a result of Jimmy's paranoia that monsters are real, Yada 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 boring. What Jimmy wants to end Halloween to protect himself. Although, despite the, the fright side being infected by Jimmy's actions to end the holiday, uh, 
started smashing pumpkins in the pumpkin patch, sneaking to the stores in the candy store, and making costumes flammable, and vandalizing the abandoned spook house that Hannah met with the guards the last time with the toilet paper. It feels like an actual scrunched up stupidity. As I noticed, what kind of sharp idea did they come up with? And the whole smashed pumpkin holes, the fright side, or the whole that one wants to have a party and a fight between the werewolf and Jimmy and Sue's Yada the boring and the bug who scares him and then Jimmy then wins the contest and he's gone back to his own self. All I can say is the animation Like I said, the CGI animations of both Scary God and Mama are quite atrocious. I know I don't like the CGI animations, despite the all-star cast like Tabitha St. Germain, Britt McKillop, Gary Coke, Noel Callahan, Alex Dudak, Britty Irvin, Danny McKinnon, Scott McNeil. We all know him that Scott McNeil was from Inuyasha and Kong the Animated Series and Adam Pops Pinsley. And it was directed by Zeke Norton. For some reason with... I have no idea why it got negative views. I just don't like this. It was only available in Region 1. We never got in Region 2. And for the 2005 movie... It just doesn't look that great. I actually never watched this movie. Because of freaking Lionsgate. And main for entertainment, which was best known for doing reboot from 94 to 2001, were quite interesting. As I know, they were based on the... I know they were made famous for doing Hot Wheels World Ways. I know I liked this movie. And it had better CGI graphics and better CGI animation. And better special effects. This awful... Duology. I'd give this duology like something out of my mind of what I could think of. Maybe I should give this movie a 2.5 out of 10. That's brilliant. And also, let's not forget Accelerators. That also had the same CGI graphics, but also updated. And... And it's, and it's non-canon television series titled Battle Force 5 also had improved graphics and animations. Including special effects of the characters and the designs of these characters from the Hot Wheels series. That's really all I could say about this one. But if you hit the like button and subscribe, I'm guessing that when I saw 2.5D, 2D style CG animation... It looks very different than what you could see. This is what today's animation should be like this. Like I saw in Spider-Verse, which was the first animated movie to use a uh, 2.5D animation combined with 2D style CG animation. I would love to use that art style rather than just a bunch of Disney Pixar-esque animation, which began with 95's Toy Story. But it's just a blend of making a 2.85D. But I probably realized that Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse has always been one of the best animated films of my childhood since Shrek. Now, I gotta get out of here right now.